today in this tutorial i am going to show you about javascript console.log more users and comments okay so let's go to see live in our project we have created a project in our app drive javascript folder and edit with notepad plus plus or index file you can see it's totally blank and suppose launch into firefox and in here you can see it's a you can see it's a simple very simple template you can see just header and footer and in our body section just write our content okay and in here in our previous part i have showed about console.log if i want to write data suppose console.log just write and simply here i can write suppose i am learning yes and to refresh our browser okay and to inspect element and console.log you can see i am learning js okay in here printed here we can see a warning cause this browser is not compatible with uh, modern js okay however just ignore it you can see here i am learning js i have right i am learning js console.log but this data you can show into modifying way okay suppose you can show warning and info and error something like that okay that will give an another sign into your text okay suppose in here i can write suppose info console.log info and refresh your browser you can see here is sign okay when you hover the mouse cursor you can see a title info okay i hope you can see if i zoom our browser you can see here you can see i am learning js and a button okay but if i write the general console.log this button will not appear you can see okay no button i mean no sign so according this way you can put a sign into your string before you can see also you can define and that this is a string in this console.log just use comma and here you can write percent s okay this refer that this is a string value okay and refresh your browser you can see the same results okay so i hope you understand also you can write here in here you can write suppose one okay just remove it don't record uh, suppose warning message i can write have you run js yet something like that and refresh our browser you can see a warning message okay and uh, one symbol you can see in our previous of our text you can see have you learned js yet our text have you learned js yet and in previous you can see a symbol warning okay so i hope you understand also you can write here suppose error console.log error this all data will show or visible in your console browser developer tools console okay but not visible in your document you can see our document is blank okay now refresh your browser you can see a warning message uh, sorry error error sign have you learned js yet a error sign in our text okay so i hope you understand that uh, how to use info one error etc also you can learn more in google just uh, search online and uh, check about all okay console.log comments so i hope you understand also you can check the time of a operation that a operation for completing how much take a time okay suppose i can write a variable x equal i write 15 and variable y equal to suppose i write 20 okay and variable i write result equal x plus y okay now write just console dot log just print this here and refresh your browser 
you can see our result is 35. But how many time it take to complete this operation? Okay. Suppose for doing that, here just write console dot time. Okay. Console dot time, and in here just write. I can write a string. Suppose check time. A simple string, and here will be our operation. Okay console dot time check time just a string and in here here will be our operation okay and at the last of this operation you can write again suppose console dot log time int okay console dot time int and check time and refresh your browser you can see check time one millisecond this operation has been completed within one milliseconds okay you can see how many time to take this for completing this operation okay variable x equal to 15 y equal to 20 result equal to x plus y our result for completing this operation our program has taken time only one milliseconds okay one ms one millisecond check time is one millisecond so i hope you understand for checking the time any operations you can check the times how many take times for completing that operations okay so i hope you understand also suppose in our browser suppose in our browser here i can write suppose copy okay copy and in here i can write suppose w code arjun our channel name okay and in here just enter and you can see this w code arjun have been clipped i mean copy in our clipboard okay suppose in here i can paste just paste you can see w code arjun is copied okay for copying from console.log these commands will only run into your console.log okay otherwise this copy command will not work in your document this commands only works in your console.log again if i write suppose copy and here i can write suppose i am learning console command in js suppose something like that and press enter you can see this string now in your clipboard okay now in your clipboard suppose in our document if I paste, you can see paste. I am learning console command in JS. Okay. So I hope you understand. Also, you can learn more about from online. Just search online for learning about that. I am showing that as a tutorial purpose, just the beginning steps. Okay. That how can do about console.log. You can do many more in console.log. So practice it and stay connected to w code for learning programming languages okay thank you